Hey, I'm Brody of Solutions Engineer here at Zapier. I'm here today to talk to you about the newest form of embedding that Zapier offers, our app directory element. Here are a table of contents for this video, which include an overview, highlighting the benefits, and finally a quick demo to see the app directory element in action. If you're just getting started with embedding, I recommend watching the what is embedding video before this one, just to get a good sense of all the ways embedding can help you grow. However, for a quick refresher, app directory ref refers to our list slash directory of all the available apps that you can possibly interact with on Zapier. And we add new apps every day. Zapier elements give you a snippet of code to copy and paste for a quick solution. This has minimal effort for maximum payoff. Depending on your situation, you may not even need a developer to help you out and you can place your most popular Zapier use cases in more contextual places easier. The Partner API allows access to more data and the ability for you to customize the look and the feel of the embed, but requires development resources from your team. You can learn more about using the Partner API in a separate video. So why and how would you want to go about embedding an app directory onto your site? There are a couple different ways that you can accomplish this, but today we'll show you the easiest way, which is using our copy and pasteable elements. So let's cover a quick overview about the benefits of embedding. In addition to the previous benefits covered in our What is Embedding video, Specifically for our pre-built app directory, why would you want to embed this on your site? The app directory is our core source of discovery on Zapier. It's where users come to our site to try and start connecting the apps that they're already using together. Users can search thousands of apps without the need to come to Zapier directly, keeping them in your product experience and on your own site. Or you probably already have an integration directory somewhere on your site. Your users can start searching for the apps they need by name. What happens when they search for an app that's not in your directory? By bringing Zapier's library of thousands of apps into your directory gives these users a path forward and keeps them on your own site. You'd be able to place this wherever users are already going to look for integrations on your site. So if it's within an integration tab or if you want to present it up front, you can show the element at the right place and at the right time. So let's dive deeper into the element for the app directory. Here we have our demo uh, for the app directory element. Uh, we're gonna be looking at Zapier space again today. Um, so this website is all about trying to track down um, all the upcoming space launches we have going on across the world. Um, and yeah, you can go ahead and see them. We also previously talked about the about page on the zap template element video that you can check out and how to embed these directly onto the website. Um, but here's the integrations tab and this is what the final product of the demo will eventually end up looking like. Um, you can connect your app here um, and show off the 10 most popular integrations with it or have a search bar where you can search all 3000 plus integrations as well as have the most popular Zap templates um, down below. So then we go over to our local host um, and this is the development environment. So right now we just have a blank integrations page, um, nothing too special. And this is where we'll go ahead and put that app directory element um, and then we move over to our app directory element generator. Um, from here, this is how you'll go ahead and build out that embed that you want to put on your website. So we'll go ahead and search uh, for our app name. Um, and then over on the left hand side, you can change the theme uh, between light and dark. Uh, you can enable the intro, you can enable the search. Um, so pretty much everything on here is customizable, um, depending on exactly how you want it on your site change the number of featured apps to, to none, or you can have a couple of them. Um, and then you also can hide an app. So this is very important for um, some competitors. Say we have a competitor that's app status by Zapier. It's another uh, Zapier app. And it'll go ahead and remove it from being um, searchable slash um, being presentable. And then you also can do that for categories. You can include very specific ones if you want or you can exclude specific ones. So say you're a form app and you don't want other form apps being there. Um, but the one thing you have to be cautious about you using this one is if you are a form app and you include that, you will also be excluded yourself. Um, so you'll be excluded from all the Zap templates. Um, and then on the Zap templates, you can change the style of them if you want cards or if you want a list view and also the, the number of them available. So we have this um, app directory element. I'm going to go ahead and copy this code over so that this way, this is what exactly what we want to be on our um, local host environment here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste that snippet uh, just for reference uh, for now. Um, as this is a Next.js app, um, it's a server-side rendering application, so we can't just paste it 
um, directly in our div here where we want it to be displayed. If we paste it here and save it, it will not um, load. So what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of React magic. Um, so we did this on the Zap Template Element video previously. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the React Use Effect function. Um, so I'm just going to copy over some of the basic logic here and then show you a quick um, a quick function that I came up with here to get it working. So I just did the add app directory function. Um, it's basically going to create a script element, um, setting the type to module, which uh, we have to have. Um, and then all it is is taking in the source. Um, so all you'll need to do is copy that entire string over um, and then add that into the use effect under the function add app directory. And all it will do is create that script element, add the type, add the source, and then it will append it to the end of the body of where it needs to go. Um, so on the generator, we chose the ID Zapier app directory, and then that's where it'll go ahead and generate and load. Um, so just like that, it's very simple to get up and running. It's pretty much copy and paste. Um, if you're not using a Next.js website like this, uh, your developers will easily be able to copy and paste this. Um, and then it's fully functional. Your Zap templates will be working. Um, or you can go ahead and just copy and paste this into, for example, a blog post if you're talking about integrations and announcing new integrations. And then also just a reminder here, your users who connect to integrations are stickier. They're your higher value user users than those who don't. Um, but some of those users just don't know where to get started. So having the app directory element there and showing those use cases that are pre-configured or the most popular ones, they can get up and running in just a few clicks. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Take care.